Hello students. Today we are going to discuss the subject environmental science and the unit called air pollution. So the different contents we will be discussing in this video are definition of air pollution, natural and man-made sources of air pollution, effects of air pollution due to aircraft and boilers. So first we will discuss what is the definition of air pollution. Before this, before that we will be discussing a sentence. Air pollution is one of the biggest threats for the environment and affects everyone. Everyone in the sense humans, animals, crops, cities, forests, aquatic ecosystems, so on. So uh, by this sentence we understand that what are uh, the important thing in ecosystem is A and the different five elements in this earth is uh, on this universe it is water, air, space, earth and the fire. These are the different fire elements which is present on this universe. So when it comes to first element it is water, next is air. Without air we, are, we can't survive. So we need to control this air pollution. So we will start with the definition. Air pollution occurs when harmful or excessive quantities of substances are introduced into earth's atmosphere or the excessive uh, harmful whatever the things uh, the substances whatever it has been uh, uh, saved in the atmosphere if it is excess if it is good for health too then if it is more in quantity then it is also air pollution similarly if there is any harmful substances just like the carbon dioxide if it is more in concentration or sulfuric acid or sulfur dioxide gases whatever the things which are harmful to the health of any substance uh, the bio uh, bio organisms those will be called the air pollution the air pollution is a mixture of solid particles and gases in the air so we will discuss the sources of air pollution. First, the gases such as ammonia, carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide, nitrous oxide, methane and chlorofluorocarbons. This ammonia we will be getting it from the, the farms or the uh, bodies. Similarly, the carbon monoxide it has been released, the gas which has been released by the uh, the industries where uh, the carbon is the more most uh, cons consumable or extinguished um, substance even the sulfur dioxide this is the uh, byproduct of um, the uh, boiling of the sulfuric acid even the nitrous oxides, methane and the chlorofluorocarbons. These chlorofluorocarbons are present in refrigerators, uh, air conditions. If the usage of air conditions and refrigerators are more than the releasing of chlorofluorocarbon gases, even it is more. Next, the particulates. Particulates in the sense it is, uh, it is a solid particle. Uh, it is it is in uh, in the both the sources the organic uh, as well as in the inorganic uh, substances and lastly the biological molecules uh, such like some viruses because of that we uh, uh, means uh, which leads to illness due to the uh, which affects uh, as fever or it might be because of the air pollutants which present the bioorganisms bio which are present in air. Next we will be understanding the causes 
cause diseases allergies and even deaths to humans because of this air pollution uh, we may get some diseases fever cold flu etc similar similarly some allergies skin allergies even the breathing uh, asthma and even death to humans some uh, humans they are very conscious against some of the air pollutants if they inhale it they may get that next cause harm to other living organisms such as animals and food crops and damage the natural or built environment so next we will understand what are the natural and man made sources of air pollution so first we will be understanding what are the natural sources Uh, the day the dust from natural sources usually large areas of land with little vegetation or no vegetation in the sense wherever you find less vegetation in the sense uh, if there is less uh, amount of trees or plants and uh, much land the barren land it is been seen there uh, there are different categories just like the difference in pr- pressures because of that the dust of the uh, the dirt whatever it is present on the earth it starts flying to the low pressure areas because of the wind pressures which creates the tornadoes next radon gas from radioactive decay with the earth's crust as we know that there is a radon Uh, which is the radioactive element which is present in the earth crust it starts decaying and it releases the radon gas and if you don't find any vegetation it starts decay it means it starts releasing in the atmosphere and uh, it, uh, the wind it starts blowing all over the surfaces if you uh, if any uh, animals or the human beings if it inhales then they might get some diseases even it leads to death the smoke and the carbon monoxide from wildfires vegetation in some regions emits environmentally significant amount of volatile organic compounds on warmer days in the sense if you find if we are living in a summer days then in some vegetations just like the desert or the the barren lands there uh, some volatile organic compounds which uh, which uh, in the form of uh, gases it starts flowing in the atmosphere Uh, which uh, ma- which is been emitted by the earth this uh, it starts uh, flowing through the wind and those are very harmful to the different vegetations it might be the trees it might be the bioorganisms animals human beings even it might affect the uh, aquatic ecosystem too then volcanic activity which produces sulfur chlorine and ash particulates in some areas this volcanic eruptions it might it might take place in vast area in the sense if there is a blast in the volcanic things then the that blast contains many uh, these uh, substances like sulfur chlorine and the different ashes ashes in the sense we find some t- uh, magnetic substances just like the iron nickel manganese uh, so on it might be so if they are, those are present in the atmosphere then we if human beings or the animals or the plant if it, if they inhale them then there might be a chance of uh, getting some uh, type of breathing in convenience or it might leads to some allergies or it might leads to death 
Next, we will be understanding what is this man-made sources, anthropogeny. In the sense, it is the man-made sources. So here we will be having uh, the sources like fossil fuels. It is being burned, and smoke produced will make air pollution because of we are using different vehicles. Because of that, we we are getting different. Uh, gases being emitted by, from the vehicles next mobile sources including motor vehicles marine vessels and aircraft motor vehicles as i have said different cars two wheelers or truck even we are we are using the aircrafts because of those vehicles and uh, even after the burning of the fossil fuels there there might be chances of releasing carbon monoxide carbon dioxide even some uh, different gases because of that uh, the air gets polluted similarly when it comes to marine vessels like the uh, ships where they use these fossil fuels more rather than the different uh, renewable energies because of those uh, it might Uh, the uh, fossil fuels been burnt because of that gases it's been released are very harmful to the nature and when it comes to the aircrafts as i have said they are even they use the fossil fuels which releases the different harmful gases next uh, the controlled burn pra- practice in agriculture and forest management nowadays in the earlier days uh after uh, plucking of these uh, crops some uh, by the waste will be remained on the grass uh, the on the land those waste they are going to burn to enhance the the fertility of the soil even because of that burning uh, the air atmosphere will, will used to get con- contaminated and even uh, because of the uh, burning of the trees in the forest and we are been uh, modernizing and urbanizing the cities we are been uh, means we are been removing the trees by burning them not cutting them next fumes from paint hair spray varnish aerosol sprays and other solvents the waste deposition in land fills which generate methane nowadays we are from earlier days uh, we were we don't prefer to uh, we uh, we don't have any uh, such method to Uh, recycle or uh, treat, treat the uh, waste from whichever where wherever it is going to come from it might be from your domestic it might be from your industries or any other types we don't have any method to treat or uh, give uh, any uh, such methods we have only uh, take that waste they will be dumped in some areas where we call that as a dump yard and we leave it or we burn it because of that we uh, generate the different gases just like the methane which is very harmful if you inhale that methane next we will understand the effects of air pollution due to aircraft and the boiler the effects of air pollution due to aircraft so as aircraft use the fossil fuels which leads the smog and ozone smog creation in the atmosphere aircraft crashes leads to produce many lives death and produces many types of deadly gases in the atmosphere effects of air pollution due to boilers boilers use some fossil fuels to heat up the different materials for further process 
these fossil fuels when it is burned they release chemical gases which leads the air pollution even when some chemicals or any type of liquid is burned they releases some hazardous chemical gases which leads to air pollution so this ends this video thank you